just to give a shout out because you know she asked me to give her a shout out so I'm just gonna give out to Amelia kiss emoji you know snapchat buddy here's a snapchat page you know follow her friend her add her whatever you do in snapchat go ahead she's really nice I mean I don't know her in person but I'm assuming she's nice <laughs> And welcome to the Nutcracker The Four Thrones review. The Nutcracker Four Thrones is the stars of a little girl who finds a magic portal that goes into a magical world and it seems like, you know, a heavenly place. You know, the sweets everywhere, the people seem really nice, it seems like a heaven. And uh, we have the, a bad guy doing badish, doing bad guy things, and also like Chaos is good rums. So, uh, I just want to come out and say that I actually don't mind, you know, the Disney live-action remakes. I mean, I know a lot of them have been kind of crap, but also we do also have, like, The Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast. I know not a lot of people did, like, didn't like that Beauty and the Beast movie, but, you know, I did, and, you know, I did. But, um, I don't really mind Disney remaking their uh, live-action remakes, but the Nutcracker seemed a little bit pointless. Getting on to the things that I actually really liked about this movie, the main actress was actually okay. I felt like the actress was trying, even though with the bad material that she was given, but I felt like she was trying. You know, most of the time her performance came out as wooden, but I felt like that was more to do with, like, bad direction or, like, bad script writing than her performance. So, you know, props to her. And... That's kind of basically it. You know, everything else just kind of like, you know, kind of brushes forward. I mean, okay, okay, the music is like Nutcracker music. So I can't, but I can't really give it points for doing like a Nutcracker music because that move, that music has already been done. I can't really give credit to like music that's already been done. But the other actors just looked like they were just phoning it in. Everyone just felt, you know, completely unnormal and just felt like, oh yeah, we'll just get like a paycheck at the end. Like, I mean, was it really worth it getting Morgan Freeman to come in for two scenes and just say a bunch of like words? Was that really worth it? Everyone else was just a cartoon in the movie. Movie. And the CGI just really damn didn't bounce off that well. Like, it really looked like, you know, something from like Once Upon a Time. But the difference is with Once Upon a Time is that that didn't have like a big CGI budget. This movie did. This ha did have a budget. This did have all of that. So I can kind of forgive Once Upon a Time for, you know, their crappy CGI effects, but I can't really forgive this movie because this movie, you know, it had a budget. It's Disney for crying out loud. They gave, they pretty much made that Jungle Book movie in 2016. That looked incredible and it still does today. You can even like, you know, make the palace like a little better. Like when it goes inside the palace, it literally didn't look any better. And even the Nutcracker character, I mean the Nutcracker, that's like your title character and he didn't stand out in the slightest. The actor playing him, I can, I, I, I'm assuming he's a good actor and I'm pretty sure he's a nice guy, but he was not good in this movie. Every single line he said, I did not believe anything in the slightest. It was honestly like painful. The most of the times in this movie, I felt like I was going to fall asleep. And I I don't want to feel like I want to fall asleep during a Disney movie. Honestly, this movie just felt like, you know, a complete waste of time. It just felt like that Disney just looked through the drawers and being like, okay, so, we you know, we're doing this movie, we're doing this movie. Oh, look, Nutcracker, let's make that into a movie. We'll just do that. That's honestly what it just feels like. It feels like, you know, a, just a big money grab. And that's basically what it is. I mean, I guess I could say that about the other Disney live-action remakes, but, you know, at least they tried. Okay, so what do you think of the Nutcracker? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Comment down below, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.